Hey guys, this is Maynard from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Teclash Textile Designer. So friends, in today's video, we'll solve a common doubt of many users of Teclash Textile Design Designer that is how to solve the problem of member collision and we'll show the easiest process to do it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, let's open a new file. We'll start from the starting and uh, so that you can have an idea of how this problem has been created. We'll go to model and we'll create some construction levels. Let's create one below. Let's uh, do go here minus one and let's create one above and let's go here uh, three and then SSL. So give it a slab thickness and after that we'll ready to model in the plinth level. We'll model this uh, with the help of a rectangular wizard and go next, next, next and uh, length is okay. I'll just go with one count or let's say two count and then next this also to count and then next finish so let's uh, see so first of all let's insert some columns here suppose I'm taking some columns I'm inserting some columns here and some columns here so now and then I'm taking some beams I'm inserting some beams here and I'm inserting a beam here right here so I'll check this in my structure 3d and this is how the beam in the base looks like I'll click on escape and here as you can see this is the node and here this is the node so when I click on this so there an error arises so what is it it is a problem of member intersection so it is there is a problem of member intersection so what to do here so we have to decide and we have to solve the problem so what should we do because this is single member and this is single member and if it was uh, like a member of having columns that is primary beams then this won't be the problem but since there is no you know column here so that is why this problem is arising so what happens if you just double click on it and then the beam divides into two now two errors of you know member intersection coming both the, both the beams are having now if you validate that everything is okay so what happened is this beam has been divided into two parts simply by clicking on this so that's why the member intersection problem was solved so let's uh, create uh, some more you know things uh, and uh, try to solve those also let's go to the base and this time around I'll just uh, delete select everything press delete and I'll only uh, you know delete my concrete beams so concrete beams will be selected and columns in support will remain I'll ok click on ok and beams are deleted check out the structure 3d this is how it is going to the structure base I'll just place some columns here as well and then take the beams and then show you and then click on validate so as you can see no error is seen right now because we have all the beams connected with columns now if you remove this column concrete column and support let's see what happens then also then also you don't have any problems because all the you know beams as you can see now if we just divide this also because the, the, it was divided earlier if we divide this also just click close this and then uh, place the beams again now now this is a single beam now you will have find the problem of this member intersection again so whenever there is a single beam as you can see both are single beams when they intersect you have find a problem of member intersection so if you just double click it, it uh, divides into two and after that you don't have the problem what if you have multiple uh, beams here suppose I have a beam here and escape and I'll have a beam here escape and uh, I'll just click on validate so as you can see how many problems two member intersection problems are there so here I have options like if I want to divide this beam into two and select this and divide this beam into two so now let's validate now as you can see the validation is done and distributed so like this it is a very easy process to solve the problem of member intersection and if you want to get trained professionally from us you will have it at a price of a 13,000 Indian rupees currently which is running at a discount of 2000 rupees and if you are not able to afford that and if you are not going 
willing for the live uh, sessions you can also go for the recorded session at a discounted price so you can also avail that this is also running at a discount price of rupees 3500 so if you want to get trained from us professionally and if you want to get experience of trained professionals you can do that or else you can stay tuned to our youtube channel and keep learning bye bye